Trimble SketchUp is a robust yet easy to use 3D modeling application. It is used worldwide in many different industries. A variety of professionals depend on SketchUp as their workhorse in their daily work. Here we have two designers from separate companies in different locations in the world working on different aspects of a project. They then want to seamlessly share and reference their models as if they were working right next to each other. The client is also in a different location, doesn't have SketchUp, and typically uses his tablet to manage his projects. He'd like to be able to review the designer's work remotely. This is where Trimble Connect comes in. Each of the designers publish their models to the cloud through Trimble Connect. The client can easily review and add comments to the models directly on his mobile device. Automated email notifications are sent directly back to each of the designers for them to make the changes. Once the changes are made, they simply publish new versions of their models to the client to approve. So let's go ahead and take a look at this in action. Okay, so I'm here within SketchUp and let's say that I'm doing and responsible for the rooms and the wall layout. So I'm just going to use the push pull here and let's just do a three foot high kind of exterior wall. Again, we'll just drag this three foot high and then here I will actually make this 10 feet high. Alright, let's undo that and let's just grab that and match it to the other wall levels so we can just do that. So you can see that SketchUp is a very easy and intuitive modeling interface. Now directly here within SketchUp I can go to Extensions, Trimble Connect, and I'm actually going to open up Trimble Connect first. This is going to then bring me to the web and it's going to bring me to my projects list here and I've created a SketchUp workflow project. I'll go ahead and open that up and you can see that I've already uploaded previous versions of this model. So I've got the rooms as well as the interior that's already been published. So I'm designer one and I'm going to just go ahead and, and view the room SketchUp which was the first version here and so here you can see that I can easily navigate this online. So if I'm the owner or the client or the project manager I can easily without SketchUp just review the model and inquire on it. Go back to data here and select on the file. We can see that there's only one version of this model that's been uploaded. Let's go ahead and go back to SketchUp and upload the latest version. Okay, so now back in SketchUp, we'll go back to Extensions, Trimble Connect, and we're going to say Publish Model As. Here we'll go ahead and sign in. And then it's going to load the projects list. We'll then scroll down and find our SketchUp workflow project. And here I can specify the name of the file that I'd like to upload. So we're going to call this rooms.skp. So let's go ahead and just say Publish. And then here the file is uploaded. We can close this and then go back to Trimble Connect. Okay, so back here in Trimble Connect, we can select on this, and now we can see the preview image shows the updated file. And if we go to the history, we can see that there are two versions of the file. Let's go ahead and show both the rooms and the interior at the same time. So we'll go ahead and say View. Now I can see the two models overlaid. So now what I might do is I might go ahead and do some red lines. So we can go ahead and first do a cloud. And what I want to do is I want to say that this particular couch, I want it to move over to this wall. So what we'll do is we'll then do an annotation and we'll just go ahead and click here and we'll say move couch to the other wall. And then what we'll do is we'll actually go ahead and do an arrow annotation as well. So here we can just pick the direction and if we have put it in the wrong spot we can easily just drag this over and then click away and there we have our comment. So now what we'll go ahead and do is we'll create an action item or a to-do. So we'll just say create to-do. We'll put the description in and say need to move the couch. And then what I'll go ahead and do is go to my more options and say that you know this is a pretty high priority item and we want this change done uh, by next week and we'll assign this to a particular designer. Once I press submit an email will be sent to that designer and notify him that he needs to come in here and review my markups and make the change to his model. So now I'm designer number two and I'm across the world in my own SketchUp model and I've made this wonderful uh, modern looking couch. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and reference in the walls model. So I'm going to go to extensions, Trimble Connect, and I'm going to go ahead and say import reference model. It's going to again ask me to sign in. and here we can see the different models that have been uploaded. So I'm going to go ahead and download the rooms.sketchup file. So 
So here we now have that model as a reference. When I click on it, you'll see that it's outlined in red, so that way you know that it's a reference model. So now as Designer 2, I've logged into Trimble Connect, and here I can see that I've got a to-do action item that's assigned to me. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that, and then you can see the details over on the right. If I just click the image, it's going to open up the model and zoom me to that specific location and show me the comment. So I see here that I need to move this couch over. So I'm going to go back to SketchUp and do that, and then republish my model. Alright, so I'm here back in my model in SketchUp. I'm going to select this object, and then I'm going to go ahead and use the Rotate command. So I will rotate on this plane, and then we will rotate around that axis. And then what we'll do is we'll then go to the Move command, and we'll just move this along here, and place the couch along that wall. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Extensions, Trimble Connect, and Publish Model As. I'm then going to select the project, and I'm going to override my existing file. Here I can see that Interior SKP has already been set, so we'll just Publish and Override. When we publish this model, what uh, is only going to go up is anything that I have created in this particular model. Any reference models will not be uploaded, so only the stuff that I've modeled is going to be uploaded to the cloud. Now as the client or project manager, I can log into Trimble Connect, and I can go ahead and select on the two models, and view both of them. And here I can go ahead and see that the couch has now been moved, and my markup has been completed. Alright, and again I'm Designer 1, and I'm going to bring in the couch that Designer 2 made. So I'm going to go ahead and import reference models. Here we can see the models, and I'm going to load up the interior and say import. There the model is loaded, zooms me to that particular location, and now we have that reference model here in our walls model. So to recap our workflow, we had two separate designers in different locations and in two separate SketchUp models working on different parts of a project. They each published their content to the cloud through Trimble Connect, and then the project manager or the client was able to easily check in through Trimble Connect and review and comment on each of the designer's models. Those comments were then automatically notified and sent through email to each of the designers. The designers were then able to react, make the changes, and republish the changes to the client. The client was then able to review those and approve those changes. So here we can see easily using SketchUp a complete project workflow that connects people anywhere, anytime, and on any device.